Great finish there, Kevin. Took it strong to the cup. Yeah, an aggressive two-handed jam. And that's the kind you like, especially in traffic. You got to make sure. The Rockets have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Here's Insanity. Cans the shot from the wing. Both sides really coming out of the gate firing here. Guys, they look like they were raring to go in this one. A lot of offense early on. The feed to Jones. That's the free fly. Rebound, Minnesota. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. Passes it to Jones. Here's the beast. Fires the three. Good. The Beasts got 13 points. Well, five for six here in the first quarter, so he's rolling. Here's Lynn. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Boy, these threes are picking them apart. I mean, four out of the last five shots against them, all uncontested, and all are threes. Yeah, the defense just looks uninterested right now. I mean, they're not making the effort to challenge these shots. Inside, shoots, blocked, knocked away. But they'll get another chance. And he slams it in one-handed. Step aside, step aside. We've got the big fella coming through. That is, that is a powerful brand of basketball right there. Man, an amazing putback. You just love the effort from this guy. Love the pass to Shved. Three-pointer, and it's blocked. But they get it back. Six to shoot. Nailed from three-point land. They are setting the tone here early with their work on the boards. Yeah, only a moderate advantage here. Slight one, but as the game wears on, it's one they'll definitely look to build on. To the middle. Here's the beast. 15 points in the game. Down low. Tries again. Good. There's the jump shot ball. The Beasts got 17 now. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. Timberwolves making a change here. One twenty-nine left to play in the first quarter. Here's Love. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Love's got his first bucket of the night. Beautiful possession. They found the open man. Here's Parsons. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Rockets trail by five. He passes to Williams. Dishes it to Buttinger. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. On the basket by Jones. Boy, it really puts great pressure on your defense when you're trying to recover from a turnover. Yeah, their, their defense is really in jeopardy every time they turn the ball over. So if they can take care of the ball, it'll take care of things at both ends of the floor. From outside the arc, and another three for Houston. Six points in short order. Two straight from deep. That's what can happen. Oh! oh ridiculous! Tore it down that time. <laughs> when he goes hard to the rim like that, the defenders should just save their energy and let him go. Well, he was nearly able to get there. Just a step slow. I think he was lucky he didn't get all the way there. I mean, he may have gotten run over. And that replay sponsored by Sprite giving us a great look at that one. Let's it go. And again, the Rockets good for two. Nice start as he's knocked down three of his first four and has hit the ground at high speed. And here's Love for three. Good. Love's got five points so far. Well, it's been back and forth. Really good battle here. 
Yeah, a real strong battle, guys, and it looks like it may come down to which team has the ball last as far as who wins. Minnesota calls timeout. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Timberwolves ahead, up two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Game three, Eastern Conference Finals. Josh Smith and the Atlanta Hawks hit the road to do battle with the Detroit Pistons. Next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central. Don't miss it. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. And guys, what's your take so far in the Timberwolves? Man, it's really been a dominant effort on the glass. That's been the key here. Yeah, they've established nice low post presence, which always tends to help you on the rebounding battle. Poke loose, and so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Three from the inbound, and again, Minnesota with the triple. Now, these wide open threes have been their undoing. You have to locate shooters and get a hand up. Yep, you do, Steve. And even if it means having their assigned defenders staying at home on three point shooters, I mean, that would be a worthwhile strategy to pursue because you don't want to give good shooters open threes. Defended by Jones. Love kicks to Rubio. Deflected. Taken away by Kirilenko. Great shot. Shot is off. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps. And they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Sheer, unadulterated power right there. I mean, he ripped it down with both hands. Absolutely. Steve, a resounding dunk. Yeah, a take-no-chances slam, guys. Tipped. To the inside. Here's Parsons, right now averaging five. Oh, oh get it! Oh, oh. what's out now? Oh. That's a forceful finish there. The tomahawk one hand bang. It just shows you the strength he has. Yeah, we're not talking about soft defense either. I mean, they were right there on him. And the highlight real replay. Brought to you by Sprite. Good stuff. The Beast. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. My goodness, he's knocking down everything he looks at. Here's Puttinger, and again it's Minnesota. Rockets trail. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Tries to save it, and so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Here's the Beast, a three ball, and another three for Houston. This is an absolute monster performance from him. He is pulverizing them from the three-point line. Rubio gets a screen from Buttinger. And Derek Williams, the basket on the assist by Rubio. Williams has got five points so far. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Excellent find there on that inbound. Really good execution. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Here's Parsons. Gets it to go. Parsons got his second basket of the night. Rockets have gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Oh, here we go. Rubio's got it on the fast break chance. That one goes. Count it. And the Timberwolves lead by four. Fueling their offense by forcing turnovers. That's what's taking place right now, guys. Well, where would they be without all these extra possessions, guys? 
Well, after that strong start to this game, he's really picked it up here in the second. Fires from deep. Kept alive. Parsons dishes to Rubio. Goes back up. And again, it's Minnesota converting. The Rockets have gotten all but one of their seven shots in the second quarter to drop. Pretty impressive. Stolen by Buttinger. Puts up a three, and Rubio gets it to go on the assist from Parsons. And it's a seven-point Timberwolves lead. Back to Kirilenko. Here's the beast. Pass to Kirilenko. Takes the three. Scooped up. Here's the beast. Good on the triple. The beasts got 30. This guy is on pace to have one of the all-time performances if the defense continues to allow him to knock those down. Took him no time at all on that one. And that's his first three-pointer, so maybe that one will get him started. Timeout call, the Rockets. He did not look too happy about some of the things he saw on the court, so I would expect some changes here. I think it's the right move, quite honestly. I mean, they just didn't look sharp or at their best out there, so take the timeout and give yourself a chance to regroup. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Ashik has checked in for Love. Pass comes in for Chase Buttinger. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Derek Williams. Rockets trail by seven. Here's Jones. Again, the Rockets score. Boy, he's really doing a nice job taking advantage of what the defense is giving. Jones kicks to Jones. Here's Insanity. And some nice passing there by Houston. Great positioning on the putback. Insanity's got four this quarter. It's been a great day for him from the field, but his team still trailing. Passes shot. Good. The Rockets shooting has been brilliant in this game. 67% from the floor. Jones the pass to Kirilenko. He dishes it to Jones. Three-pointer. Rebound, Minnesota. Parsons got four rebounds now tonight. The dish to Lynn. Feeds to a sheet. For three. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got four rebounds in this game. The Beast bangs home the trifecta. The Beast's got 33 points. He has looked very comfortable from three-point land today. Well, the bulk of his points, that's where they've come from. Outside, Lynn. Poked away. Hit his foot. And the ref saying he kicked it. Here's Ruby. He's got seven. Right side, Lynn. Over Jones. And Bash kicks to Lynn. And he converts the layup. Lynn's got 17 now. He's been so solid. You've got to keep him out there on the floor. Really doing a nice job for the offense. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Timberwolves leading by four. Taken away by Karolinko. Shoots. They get the rebound. The pass to Jones. Here's the beast. Shoots the three. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. 143 left to play in the first half. Deflects the pass. Here's Parsons using his post move to get the two points. Now it's a six-point Timberwolves lead. He was really a non-factor in that first quarter. But he's found a way to step it up here. Here's the Beast. Hits it from three-point range. The Beast's got 36. I'll tell you what, he's had an excellent game. And they're going to have to continue to rely on him if they're going to come back. Parsons dishes to Rubio. It's stolen by Jones. To the paint. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. Call it game time and bang time. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you got to just shake your head on that one. Minnesota's gone 4-6 from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. They get a hand on it. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Oh, wow. how about that basketball, man? Beautiful. Wow. 
It has been nip and tuck through the first half. No kidding. I mean, neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time, guys. Yeah. Steve, so close. Well, such a seesaw affair back and forth. I mean, this has been an unbelievable game to watch. Minnesota calls timeout. You look at the beast. He's really been playing well. He's dialed in from long range. They've got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. Kevin Love's checked in for the Timberwolves. Huttinger checks in for Brandon Bass. Timberwolves trail. Then the pass to Love. There's the three. Gets it to go. Love's got 13 points. And how much do you love to see the big fella knocking down that three there, guys? Gets it to go. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Out of bounds, Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. <laughs> Rubio outside. Lynn with it. Jones covering. Nice shot by Lynn. Here's the beast. He's got 36. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Buttinger. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Buttinger's got his third basket of the night. With two seconds left. And again, the Rockets good for two. Another nice move from a player we've basically come to expect. Nothing less from. And the first half ends in a close one. Timberwolves lead. Now presented by Sprint. Things can't get more serious than this. The conference finals have begun. Let's check out what's going on. The Minnesota Timberwolves have the lead against Houston. They're looking to make a statement in game one and set the tone for the series. A great performance by Jeremy Lin in the first half. He's up to 19 points, and he's been dialed in from deep a lot of threes so far. And midway through, the Rockets are still alive. They've given up a ton of offensive rebounds, just not putting forth enough effort to clean the glass. Not a lot of production.